are Masker and I'm Kiki. And I'm Pelle. We are from Sweden, Stockholm. Two and a half years. Yeah. We've had this band. But we have known each other since we were 13, 14, something yeah. like that. I always say we play uh, pop music. Yeah. Nowadays. Indie pop. Yeah, with electronic drums and lots of synthesizers. And we have a bit dark tone in our music, maybe. Yeah. It's not so jolly. <laughs> it sounds easy going, but it has a dark backside. Yeah. Or something like that. Maybe. We are releasing our debut album in September. And we have worked with uh, an artist called Per Egland, who has produced it with us. We have been working like... Uh, For eight months or something. Yeah, in, in steps, somehow. In the beginning we just had to, because we didn't know Per Egland, so we contacted him because we liked his record. So in the beginning we just had to get to know each other musically. Yeah. And uh, it has gone really well. Yeah. Uh, the, it, it is finished now, we have done the mastering and all, so it's done, <laughs> it's uh, a relief, because we're pretty tired of it right yeah. now. <laughs> it's been a time. Yeah. We normally do the music here in our rehearsing studio. Everything often starts with uh, a simple idea, like uh, maybe Kiki has some some vocal tune in her head. She just wants to play it for me, or I have some guitar loop that I uh, will try out. And then we record the good stuff, and uh, we uh, take it back to the studio and. and uh, Start working Try on it. it. Some more. Yeah, and some more. Do it maybe a bit live and add some more uh, tracks and stuff. Uh, and the songs eventually grow that way. Yeah, into a whole full yeah. song. So we make them here and home in the computer. Yeah. And we both write everything except yeah. the lyrics. You're doing the lyrics. Yeah. We have like both old and new influences, yeah, and like I think. But from the old part, it's Sonic Youth and Cocteau Twins and Cure and Nirvana. <laughs> and, and Smashing Pumpkins. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but now... All the new stuff. Yeah, all the new like, stuff. Like yeah. uh, we love Warpaint yeah. and... Uh, we have also listened quite a lot to electronic music. Um, yeah, like a uh, compact label and yeah. uh, the fixed FX twin. And, uh, well, the, when the warp sta thing started, like in the late 90s, yeah. I almost stopped listening to guitar music for a while. Yeah. And, and we also it. love a lot of old 80s stuff, like Kate Bush. Yeah, we like the 80s sound. Yeah. I think. The Swedish music scene. It's good, but Sweden is small. Yeah. Uh, it's a really good scene with so many good and fun, nice artists and lots of stuff going on. Yeah. Uh, but still, Sweden is a bit small and there's not so many places to play at in Stockholm. Stuff is going on all the time, but really there's not so many places. No, but it's good. There, there's a lot of good music here in Sweden. Yeah, and there's a lot of good festivals. I always read about all the festivals when they just past or when they are playing the same day mm, I and I miss them but I think yeah Swedish music scene is uh, is great yeah. 
something about Stockholm. It's very nice in the summer. Like and very cold in the winter. <laughs> yeah. But right now it's perfect because you can uh, go anywhere to have a swim. Yeah, it's very easy nice. to be. That's the best thing about Stockholm, I think. It's a uh, it's the capital city. It's a big city. Yeah, you can for the Swedish yeah, measures. Yeah. Uh, but you can uh, there are a lot of uh, green places and a lot of uh, swimming opportunities everywhere. So yeah. that's nice. That's really nice. One more thing that's good with Stockholm, I think, it's you can uh, go with a bike everywhere. Yeah. And that's they think they think a lot about bikers, and that's good. Yeah. And it's not too big, so you can go with a bike everywhere. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs>